Kevin, welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you, Tyler. Good to see you as always. So what, uh, beyond what you're recommending, what are you doing in your portfolios these days and what have you been doing over, let's say, the past three to six weeks? Sure. Let me just put what's happened in 2022 into some perspective. As we know, coming into the year, the stock market was on its best performance run, three-year performance run since 1999, with a total return of over 72%. All of that, Tyler, led to some excessive valuations with a PE to close out 2021 over 26. Those excessive stock market valuations ran into a more hawkish Federal Reserve who suggested that they were going to end tapering by the end of the first quarter, perhaps have as many as three to four different interest rate hikes at 25 basis points in the new year, in addition to some balance sheet unwinding. That clearly unnerved some investors, and some investors chose to take some profits, perhaps move to the sidelines. And as we know, Tyler, trying to time the market is often an exercise in futility. Rather, time in the market is more important. So for those investors who are a little bit more defensive now, they should be true to their risk tolerance and perhaps now consider some value-oriented dividend-paying stocks to allow them to stay in the market, earn some income, and also perhaps participate in the upside, which we think is coming ahead. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.